Good evening, uh, ladies and gentlemen. It's been over an hour. I was thinking, when is my turn going to come? And, and it seems that this moment is right. Um, I understood what the Honorable Education Minister spoke and, and uh, the CEO of um, the television channel that he spoke. A few words in your language. Uh, and the few words I understood are, Mashur Shakshiyat, if I can say it, Kamyat which is a very, very Hindi type, and Inam and Naseeb. These are the few words that I understood. <laughs> if I put them all together, I can say, all Mashur Sakshir are Kamyab, and all Kamyab get Inam, and all Inam comes with great Naseeb. <laughs> This is just a string of thoughts. Uh, um, I, I just know one thing, that is, uh, everything ordinary has got something called extraordinary behind it. The difference between ordinary and extraordinary, just one word, and the word is extra. For all of us uh, who can run the mile with a smile, we cheer ourselves to say, there's a lot to do, there's a lot to do, there's a lot to do. And if we can translate all this into action, the chances are lives become better places uh, to live in. The World Education Congress was my dream. Uh, when I last left my job with a large consulting house, I realized that there is a need to put together uh, the entire community of academics, teachers, professors, all those who shape our destinies. And, um, when I formulated World Education Congress, I uh, wrote to a few education ministers. Some of them said, it's a great idea, but I do not think it will work. And uh, put, putting it all together was a great amount of energy. It took me three years to get 88 countries under one roof. And uh, when I saw it happen on 29th and 30th of July, I thought it was a great moment of achievement for me because that was a moment to recon with. I'm extremely honored today to honor you, um, sir, with this very prestigious award, Honorable Kazim Ibrahim, and his host of ministers who are here to witness the ceremony, which is iconic in many ways. And I believe that this moment is a moment of great significance for my country, especially since I'm trying to unite different parts of the world. There's so much of pain in the world and if we can get together and get people of different parts of the world to do something which is really nice and good, I think the world becomes a better place to live in. 18th of February every year from last year, we'll be celebrating the World CSR Day, the Corporate Social Responsibility Day. The Corporate Social Responsibility stands for those iconic leaders who can translate their vision into action. Those leaders who can actually believe they have something to give back to the society. And if they can give back to the society something that is symbiotic, that makes a difference to the lives of many, I think my purpose on this planet would be largely achieved. Last year, I had 33 countries who participated in the World CSR Day. 18th of February, 2013, Mumbai will see 130 countries this year, that the coming year, to celebrate the World CSR Day. I am a very ordinary person. I like to do everything that can be smart enough for the world to believe that we are all here to make a difference. And we can get together, stand up, put our heads high, make a difference. The world becomes a better place to live in. Thank you for the opportunity, ladies and gentlemen. I appreciate being here today. Good night. Alhamdulillah, 
Dr. Bhatia, founder of World Education Congress, Honorable Minister of Education, Dr. Asim Mahmoud, other ministers, distinguished guests, dear friends, ladies and gentlemen. Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullah. It is indeed a great honor for me to accept this prestigious global award for lifetime achievement from World Education Congress. <laughs> 